my breakfast and it may look like it's a dessert but it's actually actually not that bad for you like of course strawberries are good for you and then the whipped cream has literally 15 calories zero sugar zero fat like it's basically nothing and then the shortbread is also low calorie low fat and you can usually find that in the section with the fruits or in the bakery section i got mine for, from walmart for a dollar and this was delicious So here's my lunch. I'm just making a sandwich and inside my sandwich, well first of all, I use this fresh baked fresh baked sourdough bread that I get from Walmart. It's so good and it's fresh baked and it's only a dollar. And then inside, a trick that I have for my sandwiches, I put sliced apples. It is so good. And then I have some avocado and then I have some um pepper jack not pepper jack jalapeno habanero cheese some turkey mustard and avocado and then on the side i'm just having the rest of the apple and i'm gonna have some tortilla chips healthy and delicious so here's some ground beef that i cooked up yesterday and i mixed it with the um skillet taco sauce to make it kind of like liquidy. It looks kind of weird because it's cold. I just took it out the refrigerator, but it tastes so good. Oh my gosh. Then I heated up a tortilla um, to make it like crispy and warm, you know, and I used this kind of tortilla, whole wheat tortilla. Then I topped the tortilla with a bunch of the meat and some cilantro and some hot taco sauce just to keep it simple. And then I roll it up and it is so good. Okay, so for breakfast today, I'm having some chia seed pudding that I made last night. Just mix two cups of almond milk with about four to five tablespoons of chia seeds, stir it up, put it in the refrigerator overnight, and it gets all like, what's the word? gooey and delicious oh my gosh chia seed pudding is so freaking delicious and chia seeds are so so good for you i'm gonna add some strawberries that i cut up just add like whatever fruit that you have blueberries would be good too and then i whoop, and then i sliced up some dates and dates, seriously, dates taste like candy. Like, I'm not even joking. Dates are so delicious. So I'm gonna add the dates in there, stir it all up. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. And it's like so fulfilling too. Like, I'm not even gonna eat all of this. Like, probably only gonna eat half. It's just, oh my gosh, you seriously need to make some chia seed pudding. You will not regret it. You will love it so much. Okay, so now I'm gonna make myself a little pizza. Here's the crust that I use, or the pizza dough that I use, Cucina di Casa. It looks really good. Of course, I got it from Walmart. I got everything from Walmart. And then I'm not gonna use, I'm not using tomato sauce. I'm using barbecue sauce. This is the barbecue sauce I got. And it's a black owned barbecue sauce, well, a black owned company, and it's sugar free, which is good because sugar really like will bolt my stomach. So I'm glad that this is like healthy ish for a barbecue sauce, and it's black owned. I have no idea who G Hughes is, but this was like almost like all gone when I was in Walmart. So I'm thinking it's really popular, and it says it's an award winner. So yeah, and then I'm not using any cheese because i don't know i just don't like cheese on my pizza it's too much cholesterol it's just not healthy blah 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 anyway and then for my toppings i have some mushrooms some green peppers red onions and then i cooked up some diced chicken and i put a little bit of seasonings on it so now i'm about to top my pizza with it and then put it in the oven Okay, so here's how my pizza looks before I put it into the oven. Hopefully it comes out good. Hopefully I used enough sauce and I didn't put too many toppings. I've never really made my own pizza before, so 
fingers crossed it comes out good. So my pizza is done. So now I'm gonna add my favorite cilantro. I love cilantro. I put it on literally everything. It just gives like whatever you're eating such a like freaking delicious taste. Ooh. And it's so cheap. Like a head of cilantro is like 20 cents. Okay, then I'm gonna add some onion powder. Ooh, don't wanna add too much. But yeah, I'm gonna add some onion powder. It says doesn't wanna add too much, and look at all that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna add some basil. And some red pepper flakes to make it spicy. Oh my gosh, I freaking added so much onion powder. Luckily, I love onions, but oh gosh. And some black pepper, which is hard to do with one hand. But yeah, this is my pizza. About to cut into it and enjoy. Okay, so today I woke up pretty late, so I skipped breakfast and I'm going straight to lunch, and this is what I'm having. I'm having a sandwich with that sourdough bread that I love from Walmart, half of an avocado, some jalapeno cheese with mustard, turkey breast, and an apple on the side. So now it's dinner, and for dinner I made some salmon, and I just put some of this spicy and sweet chili heat marinade on it and I broiled it in the oven for like eight minutes. And then I made some brown rice and a side of asparagus and I seasoned the asparagus with lemon pepper garlic seasoning. And then for my sweet little snack that I had after dinner, I had these cookies and cream white chocolate cookies that I love from the 99 cent store. Now the presentation for this isn't the best, but um, for breakfast today I'm having some avocado toast. Half of it, half of the other avocado I had yesterday on the sourdough bread, and then I sprinkled some lemon pepper garlic seasoning on top. Okay, for lunch I'm having this thing again. I don't know what to call it, but uh, I heat up the tortilla and I put taco meat with some cilantro, and this time I put. Um, sriracha on top and then like I roll it up and I eat it like that and then it's really hot out so I decided to make a nice healthy smoothie the smoothie has uh, what do I put strawberries peaches uh, mango and then some water spirulina powder beetroot powder and agave and it's actually so freaking delicious and so healthy for you so here's my lunch i wasn't hungry for dinner i was still full from lunch so i didn't have dinner this day For breakfast today, I'm having some oatmeal that my mom made and she puts in like a whole bunch of turmeric, which turmeric is really good for you. And then I topped it off with some strawberries and strawberries have a good source of fiber and fiber is good for your digestion. And yeah, so I'm about to eat this. Oh, and then of course, I have my water on the side. So for dinner, I made salmon again with that same marinade that I used in my last dinner. And then here's some veggies that my mom made. And she also made some, I think it's sweet potato lentil curry. And then I'm gonna have some sriracha to go on top of this.
Good morning guys. So I tried to make this look pretty but then I added the chia seeds on top and that totally ruined the aesthetic look I was trying to go for but for today's breakfast I made some oatmeal and then I put some cinnamon on top, some chia seeds and then just two little, I only had two little strawberries left. So um, yeah, here's my breakfast. So for lunch, I made a sandwich with sourdough bread, mustard, turkey, jalapeno cheese, sliced apples, and then I made some guacamole, which is just smashed avocados with um, vegetable seasoning and lemon pepper, garlic seasoning, and then we're going to have it with some tortilla chips. For dinner, I wasn't really that hungry, so I just had a little bit more of the sweet potato lentil curry. So I pretty much literally ate all of them, but I just roasted up some Brussels sprouts. And that's all I had for dinner was Brussels sprouts. But yeah, I pretty much ate all of them. Roasted Brussels sprouts are so delicious. But yeah. <laughs> 